of suicide. Hello, we're uh, looking at uh, module number 11, responding to individuals with uh, suicide risks. And I'm talking with Pastor Christian Kahn, who is also the chaplain of Bond University. Christian, um, have you ever had an opportunity to respond to a student who was suicidal? Yes, I have. How did it go? Tell me, tell me, what did you do? What did you say? What was the outcome? Well, the thing is, most of the time, I don't deal with it directly. I, it, it comes by another student. So this other student tells me that their friend or whatever is suicidal. Um, and most of the times the suicidal person is uncomfortable with me finding out. You know, so I, They're embarrassed? They're embarrassed. It, it's private. They feel it's none of my business. But, I should, but the attempt at suicide was public. And now well, they're... semi-public to their circle of friends. Okay. So usually, I'm almost like a puppet master in the background trying to guide these students who are dealing with the suicidal person. Because these students obviously know much less than I do of what to do with suicide. And would the university know about the student at this particular point? Or do, they, or do the um, students contact you directly? I usually encourage these students to get in contact with student support services to make them aware. But again, usually the suicidal person is uncomfortable. Doesn't want it. Doesn't yeah. want it. Want it private. They're embarrassed. Yeah. So I, I, I re most of the times I just try to guide these students. Of, okay, well, this is what you need to do. You try to encourage to refer. I mean, if worse comes to worse and they're about to do themselves in, that is where then I make the call um, with student services. And student services, you need to call mental health, and the mental health assessment needs to come out, and either strongly encourage or forcibly take the person to hospital. Now, that's only happened a few times, thank goodness. And usually, the, while we do serve, save the person's life, at the point, that person is very angry towards us because they feel that their confidence has been breached, how dare it's been told to others, and how dare we take them against their will. But in long term, that even though they might not say it, they're happy that they're alive now. <laughs> okay. And so then you've got to deal... Do you have to deal with the... The other students, the friends, or do they yeah. go to counselling? Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're usually quite frazzled because they feel that they're like in a rock in a hard place. On one hand, they they care for their friend who's suicidal, and they and they they, they believe they've done the right thing by reporting them. But then their friend gets so angry, saying, "You've broke my confidence." They feel they've done the wrong thing. So the so I'm mean, currently saying, "Look, you've done the right thing. It isn't easy making the tough choices, and when someone's life is in danger." That's when confidentiality it's gone. goes out the window. So, so with the parents of, of that university student, student services would contact them, yes. not you, because you would contact. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it, it, I mean, I can, if particularly if the parents are Christian, then sometimes they would appreciate if a Christian chaplain contacts them. But if they're not, usually it's university contacts them. Right? Okay. Christian, thank you for your time. We've been talking about responding to individuals at the risk of suicide as part of your chaplaincy training course.